Today we're exploring Petite Riviere. I think it's one of the most underrated areas in Nova Scotia. It's so pretty here. It's just a really great spot to enjoy the sun with a fantastic view and then also casually try to find a position on an Adirondack chair where you look good on camera, but you're also comfortable. Turns out, that's nearly impossible. What's great is that they've managed to set up social distancing so you can still sit back on the patio, have a glass of wine, and just enjoy the view. It's so pretty here, and really a great way to start the day. Next up, the Painted Salt Box Gallery, which is supposed to be one of the cutest places around and a little bit dangerous. My aunt says she buys something every time she goes. this art gallery. There are so many wonderful, like super vibrant Nova Scotian pieces of artwork. And Peter, who is one of the two artists here, uh, shared two more art galleries that we should visit in La Hague and also said Plowman's is very good for lunch. Um, painted Saltbox Gallery recommended the croissants here and they are amazing. There are only three left. We took two. Mm. It's, like it's, just butter or is that mm. it's sweet mm. and buttery. It could be honey butter. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Now onto the chocolate one. We cut it in half. It is so good. The chocolate is like dark and rich and sweet. It is amazing. I don't even like stuff like this and this is amazing. Mmm. Mmm. So buttery. So Plowman's Lunch, they told me that they used to bake for other bakeries in the area. So I'm assuming the La Have Bakery, which is also amazing. Um, it's off kind of the beaten path on the way to West Dublin before the La Have Bakery, but it is absolutely worth stopping for. And if you've got kids, they have ice cream too. Mm. is complete without a visit to the beach. While Rissers is very popular, we chose to go with Crescent Beach. It's great because you can drive your car right onto the beach and then also it's a bit of a unique beach because it's actually a sandbar. 
It's two kilometers long, and although there are a lot of cars here, there's so much room on the beach, it's very easy to socially distance here. And this is where I'm gonna leave you because I'm not gonna pass up a beach day. But let me know what I should see the next time I go to Petite Riviere.